But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You see Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Today is the day that we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. His victory over Satan. On Good Friday, two days ago, we celebrated how Jesus gave up 100% of himself for us out of his love. He found value. He chose to find us worthy and died for us. But today we have victory because he rose again. We no longer have to die and go to hell. We have hope. We have hope in Jesus. It is through him that we have salvation. In other words, victory. And not only should we take today to meditate on this, but forevermore. We must always be grateful for this great sacrifice Jesus did for us. Today I encourage you, make a sacrifice to God. Whether it's through money, through an act of love, an act of kindness, through serving him. Any way that the Holy Spirit is leading you to, make a sacrifice to him to seal this great Easter blessing that has come to us today. Explaining the thumbnail that says back to the cross. This means Easter is not about anything else but Jesus. We must always look back to the cross, point back to the cross when we are celebrating Easter. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Never should we forget that it is Jesus who has made living possible, that has made Easter possible, that has given us a tomorrow to live in. If it wasn't for today, if he hadn't been risen from the dead three days later, none of us would be here right now. We wouldn't even have a Bible to look at. We wouldn't have a God to pray to. We would all be dead, hopeless, without a savior. But Jesus was the only one in heaven that was found worthy no one else and he chose to go he bared our iniquity he was bruised for our rebellion and so we thank you god thank you jesus for all you've done for us giving up your own life just for us sinners us sinners who deserve to be hiding at the back of any event but now you've given us a place in you and thank you god for adopting us Adopting us as your children, finding us so worthy to even be seated in heavenly places with Jesus. It is not ever what we did, and so we humble ourselves today, and we completely submit to you. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Today, as we are children of God in his kingdom, let's also pray for the kingdom first before ourselves. Let's put God first every day of our lives for ourselves for it is him who gave up his life first and we should honor that remember when jesus died everything that blocked access to god's presence was broken he is the one who has allowed us to have daily access to god to feel his presence to be transformed by him in isaiah 54 verse 10 it says the mountains may shift and the hills may be shaken but my faithful love won't shift from you, and my covenant of peace won't be shaken, says the Lord, the one who pities you. The Lord pities us. He took pleasure that day when he died on the cross for our sins. He has faithful love through all generations. Everything else may be shaken, but his love and his covenant of peace with us won't be. Remember this verse today. Even just one drop of the blood of Jesus can break any sin. Out of his love for us, all boundaries were broken. Bye guys, and have a happy Easter. Focus on him, focus on the cross today. Amen.